Hello guys, today I got two G-Shock arrangement here and one of them is fake. If you want to know more, stay tuned after this. Okay, here we are. My name is Fake Buster Ninja. I'll make details comparison about original items and also fake items. I will show you about the similarities, about the differences of this item. My main concern is that so you guys won't get cheated when you buy items. Because I heard stories, especially when you're buying online, you don't even know that you receive the fake items. So for newcomers, please click subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss a video. Okay, so as I said earlier, I got a G-Shock Rangeman here, two of them, okay. Model number GW9400, one is original and one is fake. This model is considered as a uh, one of the high-end model of the G-Shock. It even features on the Master of G collection. So this model got many functions, they got compass, barometer, altimeter and also sunrise and sunset due to its looks and also its function it's very famous around the world all right so let's get this side by side okay guys now we have it here side by side so that you guys can see clearly what are the differences okay on my left side is the original rangeman while on my right side is the fake rangeman Okay, first of all, pay attention to the wording around the bezel. On the original one, there is two shades of grey. One is lighter and one is darker. The G-Shock word is on the lighter grey and the reverse word is on the dark grey. But as you can see from the fake one, the G-Shock one is on the light grey. Same as the reverse wording is also on the light grey. Okay. There is a significant difference there. Next, let's pay attention to the LCD display. As you can see from the original one, the, the, the display is more dark, more crisp, okay, more sharp. While on the fake one, it's kind of blurry a bit, okay, and you can see some shadow forming up at the background. Next, let's move on to the date section. On the original one, there is a different color tone compared to the fake one, it's all just the same color. Okay, I hope you can see that. Okay, let's move on to the day section, Wednesday, all right. On the original one, you can see there is a line across the, across the area. That is meant for barometric pressure graph. If you press this button, you can change it to barometric pressure, okay. But on the fake one, there's nothing there. If you press this button, there's nothing happen. Okay, this is for the to change between the day, the day, sorry, and the graph. Okay, you can easily change on that. Next, okay, let's move on to the side. Okay, let me take this out first. Okay, now we have the watch side by side. Okay, on the original arrangement, you can see there's a plastic surrounding the button and the plastic is grey in colour. While on the fake one, there's also plastic but it's black colour. Okay, same with the sensor cover in the middle here. Okay, the grey colour on the original arrangement and black colour on the fake one so this is the bad case okay there is the same engraving here there is a cat wearing a compass same like the fake one okay but you can see the engraving on the original one is more sharp compared to the fake one okay you can see here clearly all right now let's move on to the functionality let me put this back here. 
Okay guys, we're done comparing the appearance of the original range man and also the fake range man. Now let's move on to the functionality of these watches. Okay, upon receiving these watches like 48 hours ago, I have seen the time perfectly with a Malaysian standard time. Okay, so I will show you the Malaysian standard time. Currently it is uh, 1 9 minutes in the morning okay it match perfectly with the original arrangement on my left side okay i also set the time perfectly with the fake arrangement but as you can see now it move faster by 10 seconds okay it move faster by 10 seconds within 48 hours which means for one month it will move faster by two to three minutes something like that okay so the accuracy of the timekeeping is not that reliable now let's see the functionality of the watch okay if you press this button here we got the world time on the on both watch we got world time next we got stopwatch okay on the fake one also we got stopwatch next on the timer okay fake one also we got timer this is alarm okay but the fake one they don't have this uh, signal function only alarm move on we have the sunrise and sunset but on the fake one it back to the timekeeping mode so it doesn't have this sunset and sunrise uh, function uh, okay this is a recall function this is where you record the readings at the current time and you can store it in the watch memory okay this is multi-band 6 you don't have you don't have it on the fake watch okay multi-band 6 is the function where the time synchronized perfectly if you receive the signal from the nearby antenna okay okay back to the timekeeping mode now let's see about the sensor press it here we have this barometer function on the original watch but we have compass function on the fake watch okay if i'm not mistaken the original one also got compass function okay the reading also is a bit different okay it differ by roughly three degree okay now i cannot see any reading from the fake watch so the compass is like not so reliable it it's just fail while on the original one it still reads whatever the direction we are heading now okay so next is the barometer function okay this is temperature function okay on the original one also we on the original watch also we got the uh, temperature function temperature function sorry but you can see okay this is altimeter but we don't have that function here okay now let's compare the lighting for both watches I will turn off the lamp for a while on the original watch when you press the light there is the light okay white color all across the LCD display but on the fake watch if I press the light here okay blue color but only for the wording you can see only for the wording and it's not that bright compared to the original one see original one is so bright on the background but the fake one is just on the wording okay that's about the light so that sums up all this personally i will go for the original item because of the big quality, because of the functionality, and because of the warranty. If anything happens, you can always claim back the warranty. You can even replace this one to one if the watch you receive is more function. Plus, I will for I will feel more satisfaction if I buy the original one with my hard-earned money, because the fake one is not cheap either. To get this kind of fake, it's not cheap. It's is few hundred bucks, alright. If you cannot afford the range man, I will advise you to buy a lower range G-Shock. At least you get the genuine item. 
or you can even buy the pre-loved range man it's so cheap nowadays compared you buy the fake one or some of them said it's a copy ori oem product copy one to one doesn't matter a fake is still a fake okay that's it for this time guys if you enjoy and find my video informative please give me a thumbs up and enjoy with all your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss my future original versus fake videos if you have any feedbacks or you have any ideas for my next video please leave a comment in the section below until next time guys see you soon